Hey, this is Larry Janeski with the All Things Basement Tea video series. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, and nasty crawl spaces too. There's 28 million crawl spaces in North America, and if you own one, you know that that crawl space is cold in the wintertime and hot and humid and moldy even in the summertime. And that's because we keep letting outdoor air into the crawl space and we have basically an unconditioned space right underneath our feet. Let's take a look. Closing vents is part of a strategy to make a crawl space energy efficient and make your home more comfortable. But how do we insulate that crawl space? If we had a warm in the winter space under our feet, that would make these floors warmer, make the whole house more comfortable. If we had a drier, a uh, cooler space under our feet in the summertime. That would make the framing of the floor system uh, drier. We wouldn't have mold, we wouldn't have rot, we wouldn't have bugs and so forth. So we need to insulate the crawl space. How do we accomplish this? Besides having vents, which will be eliminated with a proper fix, uh, most crawl spaces are block walls and many are even stone walls and these walls are very porous and allow outside air to come in. That's warm humid air in the summertime bringing lots of humidity and moisture with it and when that warm humid air contacts the cold subterranean surfaces we get condensation. Condensation means high moisture content in the wood which means mold which means rot and bugs love it. And in the wintertime, we have cold air, cold outside air coming through these block walls. And oftentimes the block walls are open at the top. So the air just has to come through the outside skin of the wall and then up through the hollow cavities of the block and right into the house, which makes our house um, have cold floors in the wintertime when our crawl space is cold. And these things need to be eliminated. We need to insulate this crawl space and make it a conditioned space and not much different than the temperatures upstairs uh, in the crawl space, and that'll solve the problem. We're gonna use two inch foam boards, uh, and this is Silver Glow insulation, which is expanded polystyrene foam insulation with graphite infused into the foam, which bumps up the R value by 24% over standard EPS foam. And it has a radiant barrier on the inside to reflect heat back into the house so that the insulation isn't doing all the work. In addition, the Silver Glow foam board is a vapor barrier, being that it has this radiant barrier, which is a vapor barrier, on both sides of the board, and that prevents uh, moisture from migrating through the walls and getting into our crawl space and basically into our building envelope, into our home. This crawl space is kind of crazy. It's kind of like the surface of the moon here, and it goes up to, oh, you can hardly get a person way back up there. It's only about six inches deep, and it comes down, and there's big waves, and it's five feet deep there, and six inches over there, and all bumpy. So uh, there's some water that comes down in this crawl space, and so we put this drainage matting here, which is a dimpled polyethylene sheet that makes a space for water to flow down to a drainage system and to our sump pump system there. On top of here, uh, do we want to add insulation? Well, we sure do. And this is TerraBlock foam insulation. And this is going to go over our drainage matting. And this will provide insulation between the warm air inside the crawl space, in which we are heating our crawl space accidentally with this exhaust from the furnace and with ducts down here and so forth. Uh, we have heat and heat goes from more to less. It'll be lost to the earth. The earth is 17 degrees cooler than our indoor air temperature that we want. So forever and ever, we would lose heat to the earth in our crawl space. And by putting this TerraBlock foam insulation down on the floor, that's not gonna happen. The final step is to install our clean space crawl space encapsulation membrane on top of the floor and anchor it to the walls with special foam type fasteners that go all the way through the two inch foam panels into the concrete block walls all the way around the perimeter holding it securely. The clean space will be spiked down in the middle, sealed around any obstacles. That will make a complete airtight, completely insulated crawl space under your home making your home more energy efficient, making your floors warmer, and lowering your cost of home ownership by reducing your heating bills. For help in your home anywhere in North America, give us a call.